Ministry of Health and Population in Malawi. In providing family planning services to the women and young adolescents, getting back to the early 90s, up to date, both at facilities and outreach clinics. We have actually been able to see that the access has been improving, but there's still work to be done, especially in the hard to reach area. If rural women don't have easy access to contraceptives, it means they are going to end up with an unwanted pregnancy. And if it has complications, it can end up with adverse maternal outcomes. This trial, we randomized 730 women on a one-to-one -one basis, roughly 50% in each group. In the final analysis, we found 73% of the women that are used self-injection stayed with the method at 12 months, as compared to 45% of the women that use clinic-based or provider-given injection. The findings from our study shows that um, self-injection uh, is an effort method uh, for our women in our rural settings and these findings have informed the rollout process of DMBASC uh, in Malawi. HSAs like me live and work in the community, so women, they do not travel far. With the self-injectables, I train women how to take it at their home. For this DMPA SEC, it takes three months for one vial. But I give them four units. First unit, they inject themselves under my observation. And the, third, the, the three units, I give them to their house. And it takes it for one year. With the DMPSC, women take power on their hands, they inject themselves. Others were feeling shy to come to the hospital for these services, but nowadays they are able to come to my home. Jackson, <laughs> Kazonga. <laughs> As our more of Funa Gundukum Bosa Tiburi, another Basagal and the Remed Magris and Chido, Imene Anata Banka Sego, my date, and then entered the Hosibaya, Dead Tiburi Jaliga one and the Mangovida Bagale de la Vaja, Bogajonga, the Gutabosibaya. In Chira, in the HSC, Sukubosa and by each for your dinner talk with Sanchido, and Babon Kuno Sabido Shota, women of the school. I think the key to the success of the self-injectable was that there was community involvement. We responded to the unmet need that was there and we consulted the communities through the pilot. And when they gave us feedback to say that this self-injectable was a good method, we have responded by expanding. So I think that involvement has actually made it a success.
think the key to the success of contraceptive use and, and access to family planning services in Malawi, a country that 80% of the population are subsistence farmers, often living in very remote location, is first of all accessibility, um, being able to access the actual uh, contraceptive. Uh, second is affordability. It, it has to be uh, within their ability to, to uh, purchase it. And third, most important, is ease of use. Um, and I think all three of those have been able to meet with this particular product. SIF is committed to investing in generation of evidence that responds to the country needs on the ground. We're especially keen on seeing a clear pathway that links evidence to informing public policy and taking solutions to scale. We're absolutely thrilled to see the Ministry of Health in Malawi responding to this study in a quick way and providing this service option to women in Malawi. This new user-centered option of contraception has the potential to significantly increase access to contraception for women who are finding it challenging accessing health clinics and in countries where health clinics are experiencing uh, workforce shortages. <laughs> Then, the 